Hello and welcome to the Tavern Chat Podcast. I'm your host, Eric Tankar, your bartender in the OSR, your main proprietor at the Tankar Tavern Blog. I am here at the Game Hole Convention, Madison, Wisconsin. It's Thursday evening, the vendor hall closed around 6 p.m. And I must say, it was an excellent day. Uh, sales were, I guess, slow but steady. I mean, I think we took in a decent amount. Sold some good Pathfinder by the pound. Some 5e and a surprisingly strong amount of swords and wood street. It was a great thing to see. Very happy with the uh, turnout on that. So, I met a lot of people that follow the podcast, follow the blog, follow the Discord server. That I hadn't had a chance to meet in person before. I'm not going to call them out because, in all honesty, I'm sure I'm going to forget a few names. But uh, you all know who you are. And I appreciate it. I appreciate the uh, four cans of uh, cider that was dropped off this morning. I had one right away because not not saying that I couldn't not have it, but... Back in New York, it was after 12 noon, and, you know, normally, normal weekday, I'd be down uh, at my local pub having lunch, a few brews, maybe a chicken quesadilla, a burger, so cider felt very appropriate. Now, what else can I say about the Game Hall Convention? It is... Huge, and it's not only huger as the weekend goes on. I think they are expecting over five thousand people here. Now, this is from coming from somebody who more consistently knows, I guess, uh, North Texas convention numbers, which bump up around four hundred, and feels nice and cozy. This is going to be appropriately insane this weekend. Now, if you're looking, if you're a listener and you're looking at a game with me, as of today, I am running Rapid Athic, 9 a.m. All the seats are sold. If you can find a space at the table, if you don't mind standing, I can run with uh, <laughs> probably 12, maybe more if I have to. I don't like turning people away, as I've mentioned in a prior podcast. It just doesn't seem appropriate at a convention to turn people away who are looking to enjoy themselves, have a good time, and play in the rule system that they want to play in. It's just simple as spit to me. I'm actually standing outside the Clarion right now. As we're waiting for our pizza to be delivered. It's brisk, it's cold, but it's not windy. It's the kind of weather I actually like. I don't think I could be a Wisconsin boy, though. don't think that's going to happen. Now, I'd love to do a Pathfinder by the Pound commercial like I was doing at North Texas. I'll see if I can hook one up for tomorrow. Get some uh, local Wisconsinites to participate in the Pathfinder by the pound. Five dollars? It's cheaper than cheese. Because we are in Wisconsin, right? Cheese. Cheese is where it's at, right? Five dollars a pound. Oh, by the way, when it comes to five dollars a pound, it literally is the last of the stock. I don't believe there's anything left in. Uh, Washington State, the warehouse down in Texas is empty, and the warehouse here in Wisconsin is empty of Pathfinder. So this is it. You want your Pathfinder? You want it five dollars a pound? You got to be here at Game Hall. No, you can't reach out to me and ask me to make a purchase for you and mail it. It ain't happening. I can't hold the ship back to New York. I know people ask me at North Texas. They asked me at Gary. Can't do it. 
It ain't happening. If you have a friend that can facilitate such, feel free to reach out to them and let them make the purchase for you. Uh, I think your best bargain of all is a Lost City Baracus. Make your make your system changes right on the page. Make it for 5e. Make it for Swords and Wizardry. Make it for Castles and Crusades. Make it for Hackmaster. Whatever the fuck you want to do, that's what you do. All right? At that price, you can literally mark it in the margins. I believe that book is like five bucks. It's under two pounds. Why? Why would you not do it? Tell me why. Please. My highlight at every convention is always, at this point, working the table. And I like working the table because I get to meet people. Whether I'm meeting people for the first time, whether I'm meeting somebody who's been reading the blog for the last nine years or listening to the podcast for the last, I don't know, five and a half months. I've been on a Discord server for the last year and a half. You're my community. You are why I do what I do. Whether that is hassling somebody like Ken Whitman or asking questions about Gail Gygax and the Gygax Memorial Fund, shaking the uh, Garoshaka palm tree and waiting for some coconuts to fall out of it. All that shit. I don't do it because of me. I do it because of you. All right? And nothing makes me feel better. Nothing makes me smile more inwardly and outwardly is to meet with members of this community at these conventions for the first time, face-to-face. A lot of times, people that I've, I've known in one capacity or another, but have never physically met... And get to meet you. There's nothing that comes close to that. And it's a, it's a thrill every time it happens. So if you are a game hall, if you're listening to this, come by the Frog Guy booth. I'll be there most days between 10 and 6, except for Saturday. Like I said, I'm running a game from 9 to 1. But I'll be there. And I'll be happy to shake your hand. If you're looking for a copy of So It's Most Continual Light, I have a few. I'll sign it for you. If you want a Swords and Witcher Legion folder, we probably have a few left. If you want a copy of Swords and Witcher Light, we have the new printings. They corrected my fuck ups. Somebody had to correct my fuck ups, right? And I believe another 10,000 copies printed. That means that they're the first 10,000 copies from Game Hall two years ago. I remember, it went live two years ago. Oh, shit. Uh, it was 10,200 copies or whatever they printed initially. That short print run for here. Um, they're gone. Second printing. I, I, I am basically speechless because it's just... To think of where... <coughs> this thing started with the idea of uh, a viral rule set for the OSR that could be distributed at libraries, distributed at game stores, given away for free and having the fine folks of Frog Guy Games take it to the next level and empower it is simply nothing short of amazing remember Frog God will send you copies of the Legion folder Mike at froggodgames.com reach out to Mike he will send you a copy if you live outside the continental US if you are overseas they will still mail it to you I will supplement the shipping I want this to be in your hands I want you to enjoy it I want you to share it you get a copy get two copies of the rules when you get it give a copy away give a copy to a friend give a copy to a student and oh, I say that too, just as a reminder, because I've, I've been asked this question. If you want to get copies into the hands of a library, if you want to get copies into the hands of schools, reach out to Mike 
at FrogGuyGames.com and he will find a way to hook things up. There's nothing better than expanding this hobby. We live, we die, figuratively speaking, not literally, but we live or die, you know, as a hobby with growth. If you don't grow a hobby, it will wither and die. And I like to think that Southern Missouri Light is a great way to grow that hobby and bring people back into the hobby. All right. As I said, I will see what I can do tomorrow to uh, hook up a, a Pathfinder by the Pound commercial. I don't think we can do uh, the New York one like we did with the, the James Spawn and the Glen House one, but I'll see who I can hook up. We'll see what we can do. We'll try to get one that's more appropriate for the, uh, you know, in the, you know, the Wisconsin Oaks. I, I, I can't do a Wisconsin accent. All I can think of is, you know, almost sounding like I'm a Canadian. I can't do that to you guys. All right, folks. Thank you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for taking the time. Stay safe. Stay healthy. God bless. Roll your dice well. And I will check in with you all tomorrow. Little later.